Hey everybody, Crystal Gamer here and welcome, welcome to another challenge results video. For those of you new to the program, I run a make me want to buy pack challenge every few weeks where participants submit four images via Twitter of any build or design they choose, interior or exterior. It can be a full build, it can be a room, it can be anything. Uh, using only the items from the challenge pack and the base game. Obviously with as much of a focus as possible on the challenge pack since the objective is to make me want to buy that pack. So it's essentially kind of a sales and marketing pitch along with being a build and design challenge, meaning that the photographs are just as important as the design. And I happen to be a photographer, so, you know, no pressure or anything. Um, <laughs> no, seriously though, I tend to review the entries from a photographer's perspective because I kind of can't help it. And so sometimes I'll point out things specifically in relation to photographic composition and the like, things like that. At the end, I give a few fake awards, fake because there's really no prize other than bragging rights. And of course, we must not discount bragging rights, but really it's it's all just in good fun. And now the pack for today's challenge is backyard stuff. And what a diverse bunch of entries this time. One would think that maybe we would only have backyards considering the name of the pack, but oh no contraire, we have a variety in this group. And as for myself, my regular viewers will know that I typically do a build in line with my challenge. And I did so this time, but so far it's only a backyard with an empty shell of a home. I haven't found time to furnish the home yet, so there's no video out on it at this time, but I figured I'd at least show the backyard with all the back backyard stuff here. And when I say all the backyard stuff, I really mean it. I think I may have used every item in the pack down to the wind chimes and lemons and everything. And so anyway, uh, that I think wraps up our intro and now is time for me to review the entries. I do them in an order determined by a random number generator. And so first up today, we have Mena Buchner, who starts us off with the famous shark slide. I, at least I think that this is famous. This is probably the most well-known item of the pack, I think. And this particular photo, this is sort of near and dear to my heart because the guy who's sliding down the slide is Sterling Gardner. And for those of you who follow me on Twitter, you know that we have a farmhouse challenge going and we're going to be putting Sterling Garter into my LP series and he's this handsome wealthy guy. I, I will say that I'm not quite sure that this image is the most flattering of him. As a matter of fact, I think Mena was trying to take him down a notch or two between this image and you get to see the next one of him too. Oh, it's not this one yet. Okay, my bad, it comes up, it comes up soon. It's not this next one though. It's this next one is the interior. I love this interior. This is so nice. This is such a nice space. And it's very base game, but I, I actually like that she went all plain on the counters and all of that stuff. She uses the the nice table and chairs. I, the backyard stuff furniture is just, it's excellent furniture, I think. It's very versatile, it's very nice furniture. And I like it, she's using several several pieces of it here. And now this next image, this one is what I was talking about. Look at him, he's covered in suds, which I guess is coming from the slide. I have never used the suds feature on the slide, but I'm kind of thinking that maybe I need to start. Nonetheless, this area is great. Look at this beautiful back patio. She's she's another one, she's good on using terrain paint. I love the fact that she painted around the patio like you would have, you know, you would have like a lot of times a little bit of area that, you know, for the transition and everything. The little frog thingies on the ground are cute and the whole thing is done up nice this looks like a nice backyard like a place that you want to hang out and everything I'm thinking and then she gives us an image from the other side and you can see she's used uh, she's used a lot of the pack which is great she's got a lot of items going here a couple of different wind chimes which is kind of interesting we can see the shark in the back I love how the shark is positioned right like the mouth is right at the <laughs> beginning of the umbrella is kind of interesting and yeah, she uses everything. Even the little radio is up there and everything. So yeah, it's it's a good example of the pack, I'm thinking. Oh, and I just realized I forgot to re read Mena's tweet. Mena's tweet said, 
Summertime in the backyard is always fun, especially when soapy slip and slides are involved. Gather your family and friends and enjoy the weather as you barbecue and enjoy each other's company. Yeah, sounds very nice. So that was Mena's entry. So next up, we have Lara, Lara and BYT. And let me make sure to actually start out with her tweet like I'm supposed to. So her tweet says, beat the summer heat at Mr. Froggy's water park. Can you survive a shark attack or find treasure on Pirate Island? Enjoy our complimentary kitchen and barbecue. Find all the frog de decals and statues in the park and win a fries. Oh, that sounds like fun. And this place, oh my goodness, look how innovative. This is such a great idea. I, the, she gives us an overhead view at first so that we can see everything that she has here, which includes, of course, the water slides, the eating area, and the, the pirate park at the back. I like the whole find the froggy game. That seems like a pretty cool game to me. Love the center with about water fountains and everything. I kind of wish that when we like increase the size of the frog water fountain or any of the water fountains, when we increase the size, I wish the water flow would go with them. But we know that that doesn't happen, unfortunately. But nonetheless, we're, we're in the eating area in the second image. And look, I can see at least, let's see, there's at least three froggies on the back wall. It's kind of fun trying to play the game, I'm thinking. <laughs> So yeah, nice, nice area. She uses a lot from the pack, a real lot. I think everything except the counters, I think almost everything in the image except for the counters and maybe a couple of the wall hangings is all uh, backyard stuff, which is excellent. Then this image, I love this image. This is such a great image. It gives a lot of depth with the little butterflies in the front. And then we have the fountain and then we have the final fountain with the big frog and, and all of the water going around it. And I think that's a very neat centerpiece for a water park. I think that she did a nice job. And of course the frog itself is from Backyard Stuff Pack too, which is cool. So what a way to use that. So now this next image, we get at the front view of the park. And so we get to see the centerpiece real nice here. So, I, and I like the little gumdrop plants on either side or whatever you call those things. I think they might be called gumdrops. They're so cute. Nice little plants. And so that is Lara Ann by BYT's entry. Next up, we have Lyrene35 and her tweet says, the gumdrop bar and pool. Prepare to be amazed by a gazillion neon flowers, loads of decorations and pretty lights. Take a dip in the pool, enjoy musical talents perform, and get tasty drinks from the bars. Now, Lyrene is not usually, I believe her tweet said that she's not usually all about color, but boy, this is all about color, is it not? My goodness, there's so much color here. You're sort of assaulted with color, but I think in a good way. I think it works very well in my opinion. And there's a lot going on. She's got a lot of stuff going here. And I love in the second image, I love the lights going down. The fact that she used the lights going down and all the flower decorations and everything. Yeah, it's just, there's there's so much color. It's cool. It's cool. You don't know what to look at first though, is it because there's so much color and everything, but the pinks are, are awesome, I think. And, you know, they did some study a while ago that says something about pink being very soothing. So... It's a soothing backyard, even though it's filled with color. And now this next image, I love this, but I don't know if it's showing up on your computers as being super bright, but all of her images came across as being very bright. This one here on my computer is very, it's almost washed out, unfortunately. A lot of it is like over bright, but I can still, I can still get an idea of what the design is. It still looks great. I love the, the stairs going up. I love the fact that she did the fountain on sort of like a, a second tier. And I think that that's a very cool choice. I love all the gardening things that you can see in the front, all the, the little potted plants and everything. The, the ones that come with backyard stuff are so cute, aren't they? I, I think they are. There's a lot of nifty stuff that comes with it. And in this last one, this last image of hers is the only image that we get any dark colors at all. So she stays bright and airy and everything through the whole thing. And in this image, we get a few dark colors in the furniture and that's it. But this image on my machine too, I, I don't know about for you guys, but for me too, it's coming across very, very bright. And I don't know what's up with that. I don't know if she tried to brighten the images and, and maybe over brighten them, or maybe it was the time of day to, she took the shots in the game or something, but 
I, I'm not quite sure what's happening there. I love the design though. I mean, it's it's gorgeous. The color combinations in particular, the, the big standout in Lyrene's design to me is the color. And I think that it's a great use of all of the different colors. It's I, I love rainbow and her whole design is like a big freaking rainbow. So it's, it's awesome. <laughs> so I like it for that reason. So next up, we have Tony W. Gus, and his tweet says, the growing me, oh my goodness, uh, <laughs> Miyuzaki, Miyuzaki, it's obviously Japanese, family recently moved into their dream home in Newcrest. The entire family enjoys their huge backyard and pool. Even the kids have their own private area with water slide, monkey bars, and toys aplenty. I always love Tony's tweets. And so this design is very pretty, as always with Tony. I mean, he always does a, a fabulous job. I, I love the house. I know I'm not really supposed to be looking at the house, but I love the house. And I do believe, I think, are the windows backyard stuff? I think that they might be. I know the fence is. I know the white picket fence comes from backyard stuff. And of course, he's got a, a water slide in too. And the, the little eatery areas and everything. It's, it's just overall, it's a very beautiful backyard space, I think. And we have the children, so it's given it a very lived-in look. The little toddlers walking around. Very cute. And he used the, the butterflies and the flowers, too, in the back there. I love those in the, in the garden. It's so cute. And I can't remember now what he said online, but he, he separated the yard for a reason. I think it's, it's because... Yes, I know what it is. He did the same thing actually I did in another build is he separated it out so that he had a fenced area where the toddlers and stuff can play so that they don't end up in the pool. That's what it was. I, I remember he made some comment on, on Twitter and that's, it's, I actually did that in a build recently too. It's a great idea. And we have the little froggy right in the pool here. Oh, that's so adorable. Isn't that cute? I love the brick here too. I'm not sure. Um, I honestly, I don't remember what we have for backyard stuff on build and buy, if much of anything. I know the fence comes from it, but I don't know if there's any other build and buy, but man, I love the brick here in the house on the, it, the use of it as on the flooring. I just love the brick overall. It just looks gorgeous in my opinion. And of course there's backyard stuff decorating throughout all the, the little potted plants and everything everywhere. It, of course, the little table and chair set, that's all backyard stuff. And then we get into this and we can see that the rug is a backyard stuff item. And it almost looks like he may have added frogs and stuff to it. I don't know, do we have a rug that looks exactly like that or did he add to it? He may have added to it, I'm not sure. But this is great too, the tiered area where the upstairs is up a little bit, you know, the, the barbecue and all of that is up a little bit higher than the rest. Love the whole design. As always with Tony, Tony always comes up with great stuff. Next up, we have someone new to us. I'm so excited. We have several new people this time. Uh, several of our regulars have dropped off. I'm not, I'm not quite sure why. Maybe they didn't have backyard stuff or just weren't in the mood this time, but several of our regular players kind of dropped off this time, but we ended up getting filled with at least, I think, three new people, which is very cool. And so this one is a new person for us. It's Dea Puerta is her name on Twitter. And she didn't write too much on her tweet. She just said basically that it's a small, cute house with a big and colorful backyard. That's one of the big themes on this pack, I think. It, you know, backyard stuff as a whole is that it, there's just, it's a lot of color. And I love it. I, I love this much color. It is, it's kind of like the rainbow pack. And I, I'm such a huge fan of rainbow and, and the color spectrum there. And so she's showing it off very nicely in this first image. And the first thing that I saw when I looked at this first image was, I think there's a waterfall back there and I want to check it out. And of course there is, and we get to see it in the next image, which is awesome. Or at least we get a different view of it from the side. And so I, I love any sort of water features and stuff like that. We know I'm a big fan. Of course, that's not necessarily backyard stuff, but nonetheless, I still love that stuff. I can't help it. The This design, though, I thought that this was such an innovative idea. I think she has rugs in the front with frogs that she put on them. I don't think that those are actually... Like in the game, I think that she did that. I think that she took little rugs and she put frogs on them and she made them look like 
you know, laying out towels. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I love that. That's like my favorite touch back here besides of course the waterfall, which I totally love. And she also did a similar thing to what Tony did as far as the deck area being up a little bit higher. And we can see that in this above view, we can see it very well that the deck's up a little bit higher and we can see how much she, she, she kind of did what I did. It looks like she used almost everything from backyard stuff pack. So very good use of the pack here, I think. And then this last image to me is the image with the most intimate feel of all her images. It's a little bit more close up and I, I like the intimate feel. I, I like the table and chair set. Everything about the deck area is great. The little barbecue that she's got up there, the little plant holder in the back. The back area, I love the back area with the, the shelves and, and the stuff that she has in the back there. So very cute, very cute, very colorful, very attractive. So yeah, nice job for her. And this next one comes to us from JetGirl2113. And she says it's a base game shell for Willow Creek with a backyard stuff, conservatory, and garden. So essentially she did the same thing that I did as far as she she just made a shell of a house and, and there's nothing in the house yet. And she made a, a little backyard. She also did the same thing that I did as far as she, she did a backyard and a sun porch or a screen porch or whatnot. I wish that, that we had screens instead of just windows so that we can create screen porches too, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, nonetheless, this is very cute. She did something very similar to me, so I, I really like it, obviously. I, I love having the little sandboxes. I do that periodically, the sandboxes for the kids. I think it's a great addition. But it's when we get inside that I really like hers. I love this interior space an awful lot. Now, Jet Girl, don't forget to hit the G to get rid of the grid lines because you can't, in marketing, you can't have grid lines, but I love the design. Love the design. I just love the overall look. The color choice is great. And the furniture in this pack is wonderful. I, the way it just goes together so nicely. This rug looks wonderful with this set. And yeah, just overall, I think it's, it's a very nice look. And she gives it to us from the other angle here too, so we can see the dining set a little bit more closely. Gorgeous design. We get into her final image and we can see that she's got the, the whole backyard space. We get a, a better image of the little sandbox and, and the slide and all of that stuff. So yeah, it's nicely done. Love the interior sun porch on this. I really do. That's That to me is my favorite part of this build. The next one is from another new participant participant. This one is Kilra at Kilra and her tweet says that there is a pool party at 5 p.m. Will you be there? <laughs> In this place? Oh, you betcha. <laughs> look at this place. This is another one. This pack is so good on color. Like look how much color there is here. This just looks like a place where you want to go and party. And I love the fact that she gave us some evening shots here. This this done during the evening and this first shot to me is is the way to go especially for the bar i love the fact that she's got a built-in kind of look for the grill and all of that stuff excellent use of the pack items i mean so many of the pack items are used here they're everywhere they're all over the place so that's pretty wonderful and then this one here to me she was smart in this image because i do believe that she took it in the afternoon in the game's afternoon, so you have the kind of warmer lighting. And it really, with these wonderful colors, all of these pinks and vibrant colors and everything, the, the warm lighting makes it look all the more inviting. It warms it up even more. It, use the base game lighting in your photos. Definitely use the base game lighting in your photos. This is a very good use of base game lighting in your photos for sure it makes the design look all the better because she did that. I love the palm trees in the background too. Excellent addition. And then this next photo, I feel like the last photo, she totally knocked it out of the park. And this photo, I'm sort of, I'm mixed on this one. It's sort of like, it's either a chaotic mess or it's a stroke of brilliance. And I think it's kind of a little bit of both, right? Because there's so much to look at. And if you're a photographer, you, you always want to make sure that you know what your subject is. 
And there's a lot of distractions here, but I love the fact that she's got two birds on the bird feeder. Do they actually sit there or are there birds that came to visit the bird feeder and she caught it in that moment? Because if there are birds that come to visit the bird feeder and she caught it in that moment, this is absolute brilliance. Total brilliance. The only thing is if you have a real camera, you're able to focus on the bird feeder and the birds and sort of blur out all of the distractions of the background because the bird feeder and the birds here, that to me is the attraction in this image. And it's kind of huge actually, if you wanna sell this pack, that's, if it comes with a bird feeder that birds visit, that to me is a very good selling feature on the pack too. And then in this final image, she gives us another evening image. So uh, to me, she's kind of smart all the way across in, in the lighting and the way that she does her images here. The evening is a good choice, especially since she's talking about in her tweet, she says, hey, there's going to be a party here. Are you going to come? And so the fact that she uses a couple of different evening shots to me is a good idea for this party. I think she says, what was it? It's 5 p.m. Yeah. So, you know, evening hours. Well, it depends where you live and, and you know what time of year you're at when the evening is but to me i think the choice of you know hey there's going to be a party back here and and give some evening lighting i think is really wonderful and all of these sort of insane colors of this pack they look good with the evening lighting and look at the the bright fence she uses and how seamlessly that fits in and it's it's the pick a fence that comes with the game it's just I, I don't know that I would have ever thought to use that color, that I would ever be bold enough to use that color. And I think it's it's a fabulous choice. It fits in so well. And so that was Kilra's entry. Next up, we have GVDN12. And oh my God, I do believe that she used French stuff on purpose. We had a thing last time where I mentioned that French is like one of my worst languages. I don't know how to read it. And I'm, I'm pretty good with the romance languages, but totally not French. I just know that it has a gazillion vowels that aren't pronounced. And so, of course, she writes French. So apparently she's a bit sadistic but we love her anyway. So anyway, <laughs> her tweet says, Picanique, <laughs> oh Lord, Picanique Romantique. <laughs> oh my God, I'm dying. Followed by La Tragedie de Requin, <laughs> a Sims 4 story. And she also followed it up by saying confession time in order to tell the story, I had to use another pack. Indeed, the last two pictures are from Winnenberg. And then she says, sorry, but the shark is not sorry. <laughs> and so you guys are going to see what she's talking about in a second. So this, this is totally fabulous for me. This is one of these, if I did not know who this entry was coming from, I think I would have thought it was Laura Ann BYT because Laura Ann BYT, she's my storyteller. And I even said last time, sometimes I think Laura Ann BYT, she, she puts more weight on the story than the actual challenge. Because like last time she had what she defined as an ugly kitchen and she's trying to sell the pack. Meanwhile, how do you sell the pack with an ugly kitchen? So there's, there's dedication to the story. And this one here, I sort of feel like GVDN12 did that this time with with this. So the first one, the first image that we're looking at here, this does a great job of selling the pack. In my opinion, she's using a lot of the pack items, the, the romance, oh, they're sitting on the little carpet thing and, you know, cloud gazing or whatever it is that they're doing. And so it's, it's just fabulous. It's, it's a wonderful sell on the pack, I think. And then, of course, we get into the second image and just as good, same area, you know, so she's not really showing too much different stuff from from the pack. It's more about the story, but the story is great. So he's proposing. It's wonderful. We're happy. And then the next image, look, they're getting married on the deck by the water. We have the wedding arches. I'm not sure if that's base game or not, or if that's romantic garden stuff. But I don't even care. I'm, I'm more interested in the story. She uses the lantern. The lantern is from backyard stuff. So there's one item from backyard stuff here and possibly the clothes, but I have no idea what's in the cast. So <laughs> I, I couldn't tell you one way or another. But then the last image, the last image, of course, is the icing. 
<laughs> so what terrific use of the slide in here. And who knew you could even do this? What a fabulous idea. So the shark is going to come up and eat the Sims and take them away. And that'd be that. <laughs> When I said we had variety, I really meant it, folks. So, yeah. So, on that lovely note, and the shark is not sorry at all. And on that lovely note, we'll we'll move on from our to our less terrifying entry or to a less terrifying entry from Lara is Simming, who is our next participant. God, I love that shark thing. I'm I'm still distracted by the shark shark thing. Nonetheless, the next one up here, Laura is simming. Her tweet says, The Kids Corner Daycare provides indoor and outdoor activities for kids to work on their social kill skills and creativity. Social kills. <laughs> I'm trying to make them into little murderers and murderesses. Um, no. So for the kids... Um, sorry, guys. I think I might be a little bit delirious today, so don't mind me just like giggling all over the place. But anyway, the kids, they're working on their social skills and creativity in this build. That's what they're doing. <laughs> and our chef offers homemade food according to every child's need. Oh my God, the poor chef. You know how picky kids are? My word. I couldn't even imagine. So, okay, this looks less like a child and more like an adult playing on the slide. Maybe, maybe that's the chef. Maybe he needs a break from providing all the food <laughs> for all the kids. Because there are a lot of kids around here. I mean, take a look when we get into picture number two. There are a lot of kids here. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a whole heck of a lot of use of backyard stuff here, but they are less threatening the sh than the shark, I think. It might depend who you are, whether or not they're less threatening. I'm not so good with kids, so it's, it's questionable. I might take the shark over the kids. It could go either way, really. But nonetheless, to the image. It's a cute little entry though, isn't it? It does look adorable. And then the next one here, we definitely have more use of backyard stuff in, in this image. We have the tables and chairs, almost everything actually in this image, everything from the, the, curtains and tables and chairs and the little rug they're sitting on and everything and they're having a good old time playing there and hopefully not being too much of a headache for that individual that is watching over them hopefully they're being cute and then we go interior for our last image as well of our little daycare and so this looks like kind of like a little lunchroom place so very adorable when i said we had variety man we we went from a shark attack to a kid attack all in a matter of moments so that is laura is simming's entry and next up we have another new person with us yay love new people so the next one is kaleida sim so she is new to us and she didn't really write too much of a sales type tweet she just said that this it's a new video on her channel on her channel she's called this weekend property and she has a video out for it too obviously and so yeah so this is hers and wow like i mean don't you wow when you first see this i i can't help but wow when i first see this and i love builds that make me wow it's very exciting when i see see something that makes me wow and this definitely does and this oh my god there's there's just so much happening here I, I it's awesome that she's got the pond i love that she has it separated into several areas of course the slide is included with this which is fabulous the little gardening area and everything plus she has an outdoor kind of uh what do you want to call this outdoor thing i'm not even sure what we should call this uh outdoor eating deck type area i i love the fact that it's closed on a couple of the sides with the brick and everything but yet this side is completely open to the outside what a great space this is. I love spaces like this. Like from a personal standpoint, if this was real life, this space would about sell me on the house. Like I, I would seriously consider buying the house just for this indoor outdoor exterior space. It's among my favorite thing in the world. And then in this image, oh my God, look at these, these tree things, the logs that she used as a path. Oh my God, that's brilliant. I'm totally stealing that. I am stealing that. I'm using it in a build sometime. I don't know when I'm using it, but I have to use that in a build sometime. That is absolutely brilliant. Brilliant. Love that for a path. 
totally love that for a path. So impressive. And just this whole thing, I mean, hell, the whole thing is just crazy impressive. I think it's gorgeous. And then on the last image, we get into the garden area and how adorable is this? Oh my God, it's so adorable. I love the fact that she used the, the little potted plants and stuff, you know, the, the thing with the shelf, the shelf tiers in here and of course it's a great use of the birdhouse in the space yeah hers is is just yeah she did a wonderful job apparently she has a channel for a reason and so man that's it are we done i just noticed that there's no one else that was the last one wow that was awesome i, I was having too much fun and now i have to make a decision oh boy this is always the hard part. The decision part is always the hard part. It's it's the part that is the most difficult, for sure. And I just realized I've gone a bit long on time, so I'm just gonna get into it and start with an honorable mention. I'm not sure this job, this design did the best job of selling the pack, but boy was it creative. So my honorable mention pick goes to GVN12 for her awesome romance turned shark attack story, because that, that just made me laugh so much. Thank you so much, GVN12. And now for the achieved, the achievement awards. Now, if you achieve the achievement, it means you've done a great job of selling me on the pack. So third place for achieve the achievement is... Lar and BYT for her awesome water park because who doesn't want a pack that they can build a freaking water park with, right? <laughs> so congrats to Lara. Next up in second place, and I'm going to be honest, guys, the new players really brought their A-game. So second place goes to... Kilra for her awesome It's 5 o'clock somewhere party backyard entry that I really want to visit. And last but certainly not least, the first place winner, which you may have already guessed because I do believe I was gushing through my entire review. The first place winner is... Kaleidosim for her wow-worthy backyard space. So congratulations to our winners and thank you to all of you who participated. You did a great job as always. And if it weren't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing this. So thanks a bunch for that. And thank you to everyone, both players and non-players who spent the time with me for today's review. If you enjoyed this, please don't forget to hit that like button before you leave, comment, share, and of course, subscribe and hit the little bell for notifications so that you remember to come on back and visit me again. So thanks again for spending the time with me today. Hope to see you all back again next time. Bye now.